Hello everybody, I am Brian Gavigan with Yellow Designs. We're in Denver, Colorado. I'm gonna teach you how to manual a BMX bike and a 26 inch bike. All right, your step-by-step -step guide to a nice, good manual. Get your feet good on the pedals, how you'd wanna have them for an air on a quarter pipe or a jump. Um, and your hands on the grips, a little bit wider stance on the hands, holding the grips a little bit wider, I think is probably a good way. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rock back. Just rock back and let that front wheel come up and you're gonna find a spot where it's like weightless and you're gonna be able to stay there. The one thing that you wanna work on is having your, the weight of your legs and your butt actually lifting the front wheel rather than using your arms to lift the front wheel. If you keep your arms totally extended and just lean back really far, you'll feel your front wheel start to lift. And then by using your feet to kind of push on the pedals as you lift with your hands and use your butt as a counterbalance for your front wheel, you're gonna lift the front wheel. You don't need your front wheel really high to keep a manual going. Actually, if you keep it about a foot high or 10 inches high, it's gonna be way better than having it much higher than that. It's also gonna increase your chances of having it drop down rather than have you loop out. If you're riding with a back brake, be careful not to feather your brake so much that it just slows you down and you basically lose all your speed. A manual is way easier when you have speed. So definitely get some speed, pedal, and then lift that thing up. There's tons of kids riding brakeless now, so you don't have the luxury of holding your brake or feathering your brake while you're going downhill, getting faster and faster as you go. So looping out on a manual is pretty sketchy. You gotta be ready to either jump off the bike and let it go or run out of it. Um, you'll see in the video that I actually am pedaling on a few of these. So you're basically doing an old school wheelie to get into a manual. So that's a really good thing to practice too, is just find a very slight uphill and lift up the front wheel and start pedaling and practice keeping it in that spot while you're pedaling and then stop pedaling and keep it in a manual. Another thing that I do, it's just kind of natural now and it may help you from starting from scratch, is I turn my bars just a tiny bit. I turn my bars away from my front foot and something about that just keeps my balance locked. So check that out. Don't just keep your bars in a straight line. See if it helps to turn them a tiny bit to the left or a tiny bit to the right. Definitely be thinking about the mechanics of it all because that's really all it is. It's like, it's a balance point and it's keeping your speed and staying in a straight line. And if it helps to look down the road a little bit, do that. Manuals are awesome. Right they don't, I'm out. So you got your flat ground manuals dialed, time to take them to the coming out of a bowl. The main thing that you're gonna wanna do is just have enough speed to come up out of that bowl to where you can jump out of it. You don't need a whole lot of air. You only want a couple of inches of air, just enough to have your back tire clear that coping on the way out. Have yourself land in that position. If you can land in a manual position, that way you can just stay in the manual your whole time. Eye up where you want to come back in, and as you get about a bike length away, start dropping that front wheel so it lands right behind the coping and down the transition. You don't want to go too far away from the coping, and you don't want to make too big of an arch. You want to have a nice, round, slight arch of your manual. So you come out, do a nice manual, and then just drop it back in. If you don't have enough speed to travel a very long distance, then drop it back in. So it's just going to take practice, as everything does. But uh, once you got it, keep rocking it and have fun. What? What? <laughs> Definitely comment on this video. Tell us what other tricks you want to learn. Uh, email what your next trick tip you want us to teach is and, uh, and we'll work on it. And thanks a million for watching Plus Size BMX. Have a great one.